Hey guys, welcome back to Film Explosion. Today we'll go through the most adventurous extractions on Dr. Pimple Popper. Let's head into it. Number 10, the 50 year old blackhead. Is the couple that visits the dermatologist together the couple that stays together? In this video, Lee treats a woman who's accompanied by her husband for the appointment. The pair's been married for more than 50 years, but something tells us the partnership has never been tested like this before. When addressing sizable blackheads on the patient's back, a dark brown goo is released, along with the white mug that compromises the blackhead sack. After all is scraped out, the patient's skin looks much smoother. Have you ever seen a better display of in sickness or in health? Number 9. It's not an Adam's apple. Believe it or not, but this big neck bump is not an Adam's apple. It's a huge epidermoid cyst that's benign. However, this patient wanted to be proactive by having it removed, as he's experienced thyroid cancer. The pasty contents are mostly composed of macerated keratin, wet skin cells, which creates this cheesy consistency, and there can be a pungent odor. Dr. Lee said in the video description, we'll take her word for it. This is what you can do if you even just taking a biopsy of something. It looks solid. Number 8. Cheesy Cyst Squeeze Think of this video as the adult's equivalent of visiting the public pool. Do not eat 30 minutes before pressing play. The pasty contents are mostly composed of macerated keratin, which creates this cheesy consistency, and there can be a pungent odor. Dr. Pimple Popper describes in the video's caption. Oh, I think this is gonna make your, your daughter excited. You don't have a birthday gift for her? This is her your gift. Number 7. Mr. Wilson's Blackheads Some people consult a pricey plastic surgeon to reshape their noses, but this man, who suffers from glandular rosacea, experienced a similar effect by having oversized blackheads and whiteheads expunged from his nose. As Dr. Pimple Popper frees pore after pore of excess oil and skin cells, which comes out in gunky long strips, the man's nose smooths out and becomes slimmer. I've explained to you what all this is from, right? You have a little rhinophyma, you know, a little thickening of the skin. Number 6. Blackhead on the upper lip This extraction video doesn't look like much at first. The patient brandishes a barely noticeable blackhead that's been taking residence on her lip. But then dermatologist Sandra Lee gets her hands on the area, and things get real fast. After an incision is made on the upper lip, the area is held open with tools and given a little wiggle. Bam! Out pops a mask that Lee affectionately nicknames a baby's river rock. Um, cute. Three stitches later, the patient is sent packing, a load lighter in the lip. Number 5. Third eye cyst In her latest video posted to Instagram, Dr. Pimple Popper helps a man who has a large cyst located right under his eyebrow. It's so big it's starting to block his view and one of his eyes. The doctor captions the clip using our third eye to see that today is going to be a great day. Hashtag future, hashtag cyst, hashtag Dr. Pimple Popper. In this one, Lee removes an epidermoid cyst located right near the man's eye. It's so fascinating to watch her work on the patient, helping him stay calm as she works so close to his eye. Speaking of viewers, they were all about this pop. One commenter wrote, instant relief. Another fan shared, I can't stop watching. Same, and you know what? You don't ever have to. You can watch it on loop to your heart's content. Um, it's about the bigger, you know, what was it be the size of? Like one of the bigger jelly beans? Number four, the baby face cyst. This video went viral last summer and has over 8.5 million views. Running nearly 40 minutes, the video shows Lee popping a giant cyst that looks like a baby's face. Don't let that look fool you though. It gets gross very quickly. While Lee made a name for herself, helping patients pop zits, this time around, she tackles an epidermoid cyst. She explains that this is a benign growth commonly found on the skin and typically appears on the face, neck, or trunk, but can occur anywhere on the body, if you have the stomach for it. This video shows her surgically removing the 50-year-old cyst by making an incision and then pushing out the oozing grey contents. Seriously, it's basically a volcano that doesn't end, and Lee makes a comment that it's like pudding. Number 3. Cheeky Pop This recent pop was posted on February the 28th. It shows Lee popping an epidermoid cyst from a man's cheek. How many of her patients watch these while sitting in her waiting room? One YouTube comment wondered. Dr. Pimple Popper starts with the cyst. She slices open her patient's cheek and pokes around inside with the scissors. This cyst, which for a split second she calls the steatocystoma, is not ready to pop her hole. It's going to take a squeeze or two to release everything stuck inside. You can tune into her extended video for the rest of the cyst stitch and that blackhead she promised. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> but it came out just like that. It came out for loop. Number 2. A Calloid on the Ear In this video, Lee removes a calloid from the back of a woman's ear. At the start of the episode, we meet Jennifer, a 29-year-old cosplay enthusiast with a big mysterious growth on her ears. She's had them for around 11 years, ever since her piercings in both ears didn't heal properly and became infected. The masses cause dizziness, nausea and headaches, not to mention depression, and Jennifer doesn't know what she'll do if Lee can't fix the problem. According to Lee, calloids occur most often on the earlobes, the chest, back and upper arms. It's when scar tissue from an episode of trauma gets hyperexcited and grows beyond the bounds of the original wound. Usually, a person knows when their colloid is active because it itches or is painful. Number 1. Hairy Scalp Cyst This 20-minute video shows Lee removing a cyst from under a man's scalp. The video was posted in March 2017 and has over 2 million views. 
There's some kind of obsessive quality because when you watch it, it sucks you in. Lee told Forbes about her videos. I don't exactly know what it is either. I don't exactly know what it is either, but you do get addicted to it. I see that all the time. People say, this is so gross yet oddly satisfying. This is so nasty that I can't stop watching. What do you think about our picks? Which one grossed you out the most? Let us know in the comments below. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.